Thank you very much. For those who don't know me, I'm Rafał Lewstarowicz from the Ministry of National Education in Poland. In fact, um, as Pascal mentioned, we, uh, during our one of our last um, plenary session, I was presenting digital agenda for Polish schools. I mentioned about broad access, about uh, teacher trainings, um, about um, uh, many other developments as uh, no, uh, new, uh, brand new um, core curriculum with uh, programming, uh, computational thinking for, for all graders uh, from the first grade um, in Poland. But uh, today I want to uh, add some uh, m more information about our uh, newest developments. But before that, let me just present you. Four, three, two, Enthusiastic for sure. Yes, we feel better now. You know, I am just presenting that because that um, uh, Falcon uh, rocket, uh, Elon Musk. Uh, it was not a uh, uh, long time ago when they uh, done this. Where is my presentation? Sorry, uh, but I am showing this because one uh, Polish student was uh, involved in this project. It was very uh, talented uh, student uh, that had opportunity to meet uh, in during uh, his study studies uh, very good teachers that helped him develop his skills, informatic skills, and he was one of the core element of this project uh, of uh, Elon Musk uh, um, Space Agency. So now we are. Uh, we are uh, launching new project dedicated to this um, children with special needs, that means very talented and very special students. And uh, we will we will uh, we we'll need to find 700 teachers in Poland, and they will uh, look for these talented children. We call it diamonds, and they will be shaping those diamonds, and they will be providing some um, mentoring work with with those uh, students. Because we discovered that we have many, many, very many talented uh, students in Poland in informatics. All this uh, Olympiads uh, in informatics showed that, uh, but still there is a need for students from the rural areas to have to get support, so we want to uh, dedicate this special program to them, to raise the number of students interested in, in programming. Apart of the fact, despite the fact that we have it on our curriculum, computational thinking, programming, coding, and so on, but we really uh, w want um, to, to, to help them that way and to involve our best um, our best um, lecturers from, from the best universities. In fact, they came with this project to us. Um, there are also um, some problems with still with e-safety in Poland. This is one of uh, our research that shows uh, that still children are meeting people, uh, adult people f uh, offline. And uh, first, we ask about um, about uh, about uh, mm, sorry about this um, meeting the one group of students, and then if they know someone um, younger than uh, 15 years old that uh, that uh, uh, met someone some adult offline, and as you can see, 
it's a double number, yes? It's around 10% of, of uh, students that um, they respond that they, they met someone and they know even 20%, more than 20% know uh, someone who is who, um, younger than 15 years old. This is, uh, this is uh, a really um, bad situation and um, last findings from, from our research showed also that special attention should be given to the uh, copyrights, e-commerce, um, showing private image uh, online. That's what we should focus on um, when we are um, talking about e-safety in schools because there is completely lack of knowledge about uh, this kind of um, behaviors. So, um, what is also very popular are different type of challenges. Maybe you've heard about some of it. Um, these challenges sometimes are very, very dangerous. Uh, but also very uh, important person are also taking part in many challenges, as you can notice here. Uh, like basket challenge uh, or Malekin challenge here. So young people are also taking part, but uh, in more, much more sinister challenges. Um, I just want to skip some slides for sure. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have uh, some new developments in our law. We change um, our uh, parliamentary act on education, uh, and uh, one of the main. Uh, goal for our educational system is to improve knowledge on e-safety now. So this is what schools have to fulfill, is this, uh, they cannot uh, avoid this, uh, uh, this uh, topics. We have also materials, uh, special materials dedicated to, to this kind of topics. As you may see, this is, this is only in Polish, of course, but uh, for school principals, these are materials as follow here. For parents, for students, there are school procedures, there are uh, lesson scenarios, there are cartoons, there are uh, some other uh, materials, and this is all available on our website um, and, and available from our main website, uh, the, the Ministry of Education website. So this is something that we should not uh, forget about. I mean, this e-safety um, aspects of, uh, of using internet, because we have still uh, a big problem with, with, uh, with student behaviors online. Okay, and um, I want to add some few words about e-materials uh, project and e-textbooks projects. As you may know, we have in Poland uh, textbooks for all subjects now, which are completely free of charge and uh, they are accessible. Um, they are based on open source, uh, common um, uh, Creative Commons license. But uh, now, um, and they are e-textbooks, that means that they have been approved by the ministry, yes? As any other kind of textbooks. Because uh, schools are independent, they can choose whenever they want. I mean, teachers, they can uh, go for any uh, textbook uh, from shop or uh, online, but it has to be <laughs> This textbook has to be approved by the ministry before it will go to school. E-materials is something, is a different story. Yes? Because e-materials, it can be everything. Uh, and of course, um, even teachers, they have not uh, uh, used e-textbooks or any other textbooks. You can use, I mean, teacher can use whatever he wants or she wants, yes? It can be e-textbook paper version of e-textbook, e-material, or he can produce his own materials to students. There is, he's uh, free, uh, he, can, he can choose whatever he wants. But still, we have this e-textbooks. I just want to 
show you an example what we are talking about. This is, uh, this is uh, one of the e-textbook. You, uh, you can choose the topic from it. So this is Paris. Yes, I just, uh, I just wrote down uh, Paris. Parish is in Poland, in Polish, and you can find some information about the population of, um, yes, this is the population of uh, people in uh, citizen in Paris, yes. Uh, then you have uh, some other quizzes, some photos, uh, and so on. But what is the big advantage of that? That you can copy, paste everything what is included here. All information, all photos, all quizzes, everything. So those are um, e-materials, and we have now 64 uh, e-textbooks, but they will become e-materials <laughs> just um, from the fact that we change the school structure and core curriculum. So it will fit our curriculum, but not the same uh, level of school, let's say now. Yeah? So, um, so as long as we have this upper secondary, uh, secondary school, they are e-textbooks. Afterwards, it will be just ordinary e-materials for teachers. But for us, it's important because of um, our children still carrying, you know, um, books on their backs, which are pretty heavy uh, still. Uh, textbooks should be just uh, materials for teachers for their self-development uh, uh, um, and for the work at home, not only, yes, I'm just, I <laughs> see, see you, I just finished. Uh, so, so basically, uh, my uh, colleague Rina, she will present you more detail about from the evaluation of e-textbooks. So if you have any uh, um, additional uh, questions to, to that, uh, I will, I will uh, share with you uh, with this. Okay, so um, what I can recommend is uh, to, um, to invest in this kind of uh, tools for, for, uh, for students. But, uh, but they should be open. That means that teachers, they have to, uh, they, can, they can do, uh, they work by themselves. Using that and using the parts of, of this, that's in the way they, they, they need. Merci beaucoup pour votre attention.